everyone, it is Susie, and I hope everybody is doing well today. I am going to do a quick tutorial on these little um, Tim Holtz. Now, I don't know what they're called. Uh, they might be the lost relatives. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, they are the almost picture-sized um, little, little things that he has out. And um, I don't have the box for these anymore because I, when I have that stuff, I usually transfer it into something else. So I do not know the exact name of them. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you. Now, this is what I saw on um, Instagram from Shabby Soul. And if I can find a video on it, I will link it in the description box. But uh, these were so fun when I saw her do this that uh, I just included it in the Sadie journal that I just did a week or so ago. So um, I'm going to show you how how to do that. Now she used, I don't know if she used tissue paper or not, I can't remember, or if she used like these um, upcycled tea bags. I'm just not sure, but I'm going to use the tea bags. I'm sure you can use uh, tissue paper and just uh, take and ink it up but I bought these some time back from uh, Nine of Crones on Etsy these were really cheap uh, and these were just some uh, tea stained tea bags so that is what I'm going to use and uh, anyway and just show you how easy these are to do so, first of all, you've got to kind of just bend these, these uh, little photos here. Just make creases in them like they're old, where they're kind of old and cracked. and That's kind of what, um, what you need to do, just to give them that old cracked look. And it kind of, if you bend it one way, it'll give you some of the white. And if you bend it the other way, it, it doesn't. So, I'm just going to do them a little bit of both here. So, just get you a nice little, little crease in there. Okay. And the same way, it just cracks it in the back. And it just makes it look kind of old. So I'm going to do the same thing to these. Okay. So there we are. Now I am going to be using... Uh, let's see what I did with it. I'm going to be using this Liquitex. Now I bought... This is just a liquid instead of the other. Uh, now I bought this when Hobby Lobby was still doing its 40% off coupon. So it's $16.99 otherwise. And uh, I'm sure they put them on sale in the paint department now. And now that they've got rid of those, uh, maybe the, you know, they got rid of those 40% coupons. So maybe, just maybe, they run 50% off in the, in the paints department maybe. You know, where you would, where you would purchase it. So, but anyway, I'm just taking that Liquitex. And now this is just, it's just called pouring, pouring medium. Okay. That's what it is. And you want to be really generous getting that glue on there. Because you want that uh, tea bag to really stick on that photo. So I kind of sometimes pull these little these little edges off and the ones that I have just fit perfectly okay so once I get it on there okay now if you have a little now uh, brayer you could probably use a little brayer I have them but I I'm not going to use that and then I just take this and I actually add another coat on the top that's what I do just add another little coat of medium. Now, if you don't have this medium, you know, I'm not sure what will work. Um, 
honestly, I'm not sure what you could, but the thing would be just try, just try some different uh, uh, products and see what would work for you. I'm going to get something to, uh, I want to get something to kind of pry this up underneath. I don't want it glued down to the, to the, um, paper there. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that over and let it dry. Let's see. I'm going to I'm going to stick it on something there so it's not laying flat on my on my surface there. Okay, and then we're going to grab this little girl here. And we're just going to get that medium poured on there. And just get it all nice and You know, I might um, try one with uh, a different uh, glue. I, I don't know, just to see what would, just to see what would happen with it. We could try one with a clear tacky glue, maybe. It it pours really um, nice and uh, uh, thin, not so thick. I mean, it'll have a little bit of thickness to it, but not not bad I don't think I might try one with that I'll have to find my clear tacky glue the Aileen's tacky glue okay and then I'm just gonna pour that on top and just kinda get that my lighting's not very good today it looks like it's gonna rain in my neck of the woods today so um, I'm having to use alternate lighting today, which I don't really like to do. I like natural lighting the best, but you do what you have to do. Okay, so I'm going to get this picked up from here. I'm going to um, see if I can find my Aileen's Tacky Glue, and we will, we will try that. We will try that on one of these photos and just see what it does. Okay, so I got the Aileen's out, and I added a piece of wax paper here to see if that would cause it to not stick quite as, quite as bad. And uh, I've got my picture bin up, so let's just, I'm going to pour it out of the bottle, because this is one I haven't opened yet, but I wanted to leave the lid kind of sealed. No, this is a lot thicker, so we will see just... Now oh, this will work. Let me wipe that bottle off. Okay, we're going to see just what will work here. All right. And I cleaned my brush so it's free of medium. There will be no medium on it. So let's see what we can do with Aileen's Tacky Glue. I don't know if there's something you could put in the Aileen's maybe, you know, to make it a little thinner. Maybe there's something you can add to just thin it out a little bit if this was something you wanted to do. Put a little in a, put a little Aileen's in a little container or something and dilute it somehow. I'm not sure what would work, but we're going to, we're going to try this. All right. And we will see how it comes out. Now, I think this time I'm going to use my little, um, since this is a little thicker, I'm going to use this little this little face tool that I got at the Dollar Tree that I use as a little tiny brayer. I can see I'm going to have some air pockets with the Aileen's, possibly. So, but it just may work other than having those little bit of air pockets from the glue. Okay, so there is that, and I'm going to put, well it's pretty sticky already on the outside, so I don't know if I could add a little bit to the top or not. It's really coming through. Okay, let's see. We may add just a, just a little bit. 
just gonna put a little on my brush and of course Maj Posh I never thought about Maj Posh now you can probably use it too I'd use a flat um, the flat Maj Posh but if you don't have that and you have a little tacky glue we're just gonna see if that will that will work or not so guys I'm going to um, let this dry I'm not sure how long it'll take to dry but we're gonna let it dry and I will come back and um, of course my medium here is probably already dry it's already pretty dry but I will wait until the tacky glue dries uh, completely so all right guys I'll be right back okay so I think these are drier enough uh, this is my tacky glue it's still got a little bit of wet right there but guys all I did was trim down around these and that tacky glue works great so you know if you don't have Maj Posh and you don't have any kind of that liquid medium or anything to use just use some Aileen's Tacky Glue. Red, I mean, it's easy uh, available from Walmart. And uh, anyway, I thought it would come out really, really good. So we're going to finish these up. And all I do is take my um, ink here, my Distress. I always use um, Ranger. So uh, this one happens to be Pot and Soil. I like to use the coffee as well, the one that is um, the coffee uh, color. And anyway, I just go ahead and ink around my edges, you know, and then I take the back to give it just a little bit more of a aged feel. I just take the back and I just run that all over the back just to give it that more aged feel and it kind of feels in your little your little cracks there and gives them some more defined lines that you can see and that just finishes out those those old photos I just love that and uh, there you are I just love those and it just takes those really glossy looking new photos and makes them look aged uh, but anyway like I said this was what I had seen um, Shabby Soul do on Instagram and just loved, loved, loved it I don't care for the glossy pictures um, like that they look like old photos but they don't but they don't look like old photos because they're just too uh, glossy. So this just gives them a fun way to to kind of uh, get rid of that. And there we are. Just add a little bit of that distress stain to the back. And I love this because, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little boy right here. And he just kind of is faded out. Which I love because that's what old photos do. And so he kind of got faded out by the uh, coffee stain or tea stain spot there. But I absolutely love this. So there's that one. And then uh, this one here I'll do the back. But like I said, it still has a little bit of a little bit of wet there on that front. But you can just see how this starts aging the the back a little bit more when you start rubbing rubbing it with a little archival ink there. It just makes it look a little more aged. So, fun, 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 guys. All right, so that is just a really uh, quick tutorial that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, like I said, I will try to find that video from Shabby Soul uh, and see if I can't, uh, you know, uh, get that posted in the description box. So here's my tacky glue, and here is my uh, my uh, Liquitex liquid medium. So the tacky glue one came out perfectly. I love it. So that is a nice, nice uh, alternative to any medium. 
So guys, have a great day, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.